We've got the whole herd except for Eleanor. Yeah, we're gonna see if she'll come in with feed, but she's not. She's not an idiot. She knows what's going on. She'll come in with feet. She may not. She's smart. She's not an idiot. We'll see if she'll come in with Come here. Come on. Come here. Nope. She said. I think I'll go the other way. She'll not have to come in and get caught with those guys because they. You know, she's at the bottom of the pole, so we have to, uh, oh, there she is, she's out there, crazy. She, uh, she's smart, she knows that these are tight corners, tight places. She does not want to get in with a big herd because they'll push her around. She's smart. Beautiful day. We, we lucked out. It's not raining, it's not overly muddy in the pins. I mean, we're off to a good start. And Dusty is kind of peeling out over here, burning some rubber. Hey, hey! Oh, God! Let me unlock that for yeah. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> What are we doing over here? We're getting our scale ready. We got a true test scale, the S3. Um, I always like to charge it or keep it plugged in just in case something happens, the battery goes dead or something and then we're scrambling. But I like to weigh all of them. They at least come through this holding tank, these sliding gate areas. They all come through here, so I might as well get their weight while they're being held before they actually get in the squeeze chute. So we have a platform here and uh, it fit this area. So we got the platform. You can get scales to fit 
um, on your squeeze chute, but this squeeze chute uh, is going to be a lot of work, costs a lot of money. So we uh, just did the platform because we know that they have to get here first, and it's a holding area while we're working a bison. So uh, we can get their weight, especially the calves. We want to see the calves' growth over time, and um, so we'll get the calves. This is their uh, first weight of 2021, our 2021 calves. This will be the first time they're weighed. So in the spring, we'll be able to see how much they've gained over time. And, um, and then again, later on in the 2022 fall, we'll see their gain and we'll keep track of that. If any animals are down weight, you know, they might be dealing with something like yes. Dakota with the anaplasmosis or yeah. stomach parasites or anything like that. Yeah. And, uh, cause the summertime, they can lose some weight and we went through a drought this year so we did what we could to try to keep the weight on them but they're going to lose some and our bulls dunbar and big joe those bulls naturally lose weight because they're working um you know july august and september trying to breed and so they naturally lose some of that weight and we just check their weight make sure they're gonna gain it back over the winter time how important is that to the uh the vaccination and the dose you get to have their weight um, that is important because we, we already kind of know their weights whenever, like Dunbar, he's 1,400. So when he was 1,400, when he comes through, we already know according to uh, what the, you know, the instructions say or the dosage amount on each uh, vaccination. We already know mentally in my head how much he weighs, so then that's what you draw up. And uh, it helps it go by faster just by knowing their weights. You know, i got some cows in here that are – a thousand or eleven hundred pounds um some of my bigger ones i know how much to draw some of my smaller ones i don't draw as much warmer or whatever uh, vaccination it is the calves that's a start because they those guys are gradually getting bigger and bigger so we have to adjust our vaccination dosage and our warmer dosage as we do that so <clears throat> Maybe if he stood here, do you think that's better to really pull it, whoever it is? Open it back up. Yeah, you can do it from there, but it's going to have to, it's too low, you know. You want to chain that? Have to put something on it. I'll I'll run them. I'm gonna get the big herd and put them in this holding area, lock them up, and then get them situated. And then we're gonna get Dunbar, Flow, sorry, yeah, Flow and her calf, 
and the heifer with them work them first the heifer has got to be separated so we've got to pin her up don't let me forget about her and the calf the calf's going to come off the, where are you pinning the calves we can just put them in there with that cow okay. it's fine or actually kevin we can send them back where dunbar is yeah because dunbar is going down that lane and out and so is Flo. Okay. So Dunbar and Flo are going out, the calf and the yearling heifer are staying. <laughs> and then once that we'll move into getting the big herd worked. Or Kevin, what do you think about those yearlings? What about? Do you think after we work? We can get them in probably. Okay. Like okay. Hey, well they're a little they're easier to work with. Okay. Are these both dusties? That's it. Yeah. We can get them in. All we got to do is open that gate. They'll come in, especially if everybody kind of back off. They will. Hey, uh, there's a another crock pot in there, Boone. <laughs> well, that's maybe true. <laughs> hey, half of it's bison, half beef. No, I moved it to the house. You can't work the bison without a roast. What do you? Uh, I'll figure. I mean, just always... At least they don't have to sit here and smell it this time. <laughs> in with them heifers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Maybe because uh, there ain't much room down there. All right, Cole. Um, I'm gonna go down and come back this way. So. You got the whole herd except for Eleanor. Yeah, so we're gonna see if she'll come in with feed, but she's not she's not an idiot. She knows what's going on. Let's see. Here I'm just gonna walk down here and see if she'll come in with work. Marissa just came in with feed. <laughs> we're gonna see if she'll come in with feed. She may not. She's smart. She's not an idiot. We'll see if she'll come in with feed. She's over there. Come on, quit hanging out with the boys. Don't run over me.
Oh, they're not in here, I promise. Nope. She said, I think yeah. I'll go the other way. Thank you.